We're doing it. We are way more than halfway through our workouts for the week. Yesterday, we had a really challenging day uh, with a lot of strength, small movements, uh, not a lot of range of motion. And we did so well that we're going to continue to explore some of the strength-based stuff again today um, while also incorporating some cardio and a little bit more range of motion. So whereas yesterday was like pure strength, small movements, a lot of burning out of the muscles. Uh, we're going to do some of that, but we're going to have a little bit more well-rounded workout to get the heart rate up as well. Um, we are going to get our heart rate up four times in this workout. The first time is going to be at the beginning of each workout set. And the second time is going to be at the end. So we'll do it once with our armbands on at the beginning, once with the armbands on at the end, and then same with the leg bands. Our interval are 40 seconds. And we're going to be doing two rounds of the exercises. And you don't need to remember any of this. I will walk us through all of it, uh, just giving everyone a little preview of what's to come. So we are going to start by getting our heart rate up today. So grab your water, grab your device, get your cycle going. All right. So our three moves, and this is only to warm the body up. This is not for strength because... We're not doing anything specific to the arms here. We're just getting everything moving and grooving. Uh, our first move is lateral high knees. We have 30 seconds of these side to side. Our second move are, is cross jacks. We're going out and in. And then our final move is floor tap to reach. So we tap down, either reach up or tap down. Even better, give me a jump. So we're going to go through one round of those 30 seconds each just to get the body moving and going. And then we'll dive into our more specific strength-based stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. Arms out, first 30 seconds, lateral high knees. Let's go. Get them up, over to the side, and over to the other. Only a minute and a half of work, but we're getting the whole body awake, getting used to having those bands on. Yeah, getting going for the day. Good to see everyone, those on Zoom and those on Instagram. If there's anyone I have not met, I'm Laurel, and we do these workouts every weekday at 3 p.m. Pacific. Good. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and 30 seconds. X jacks. Let's go. Or cross jacks. Same thing. Good. Nice. And we only have to do this cardio boost four times today, so we're knocking one of them out of the way right out the gate. Good. Last 10. And we're coming in for floor tap, either reach or jump. In five, four, three, two, and one. Drop down, either jump or reach. Down. Up, down, up. Last 30 seconds. Whew. Good. Keep going. Either way, I want you to see your arms up and overhead. So really opening up the shoulders here. All right. Last 10. Give me six. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we are firing. The first exercise of the day, letting our heart rate drop, targeting the forearms, smaller muscles before bigger muscles, is a straight arm press back. So what does that mean? I extend my arms out in front of me, and I pull my fingertips in, in, in. Now notice I'm not curling my fingers. I'm keeping my hands straight, and I'm pulling the base of the palm in, in. I have a slight angle of my wrist down so the blood can properly pull. So first 40 seconds, arms are out. We're going in three, two, and one. See if you can make the range of motion really small. Pull, pull. Good, pull it in even more, even smaller. There we go, pull, pull, pull. Nice. Good, keep the fingers really straight. So we're not just curling our hands. Good, and I'm actively pressing my wrist away from my body the whole time. In, in, awesome, and there we go. 
Allowing ourselves to let the heart rate slow down. Good. Pull those fingers even more, smaller range of motion. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Last 10. Give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Good job. For the next set, we're actually going to go the opposite direction. So I'm going to press, pull the tops of my hands up, up, up. Okay, so let's set ourselves up. Press the base of the hands away from you. Straighten out those fingers. 40 seconds. Here we go. Up, up, up. And I want you to keep the tension in your muscles the whole time. Doing your best to get the backs of the hands close to the arms. It's a micro move, but it's really powerful to target the form. And up, up. Great. Good. Get them up even more. Nice. Good, last 15 seconds. Forearms should be firing. Give me 10. Little pulses, up and up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Nice job. Our next exercise, we are doing four rounds since it's a single arm piece of work. It is a sideline tricep press. So I'm going to come down into my side, my right, my left side. I take my left arm, wrap it around the body, press my right hand into the mat. I press up and down. Now, you can make this harder for yourself by limiting your range of motion. So instead of going all the way up and down, you can press up and just drop down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. So your choice, how you want to take this one, 40 seconds in four, three, Two, let's go. Drop down, press up, or down an inch, up an inch. Working those triceps. Good, keep going. Side line tricep press. Great. Mm -hmm. And the slower we move, the more we can create bulk muscle. So if you want to move faster and go for a little leaner thing, you can. Or if you want to really go slowly, get those micro movements, that's how we build bulk. Great. Good. Last six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Let's go ahead and make our way over onto our other side. Wrap the bottom arm around you, press the top hand into the mat, 40 seconds in three, two, and one. Either all the way up and all the way down or little pulses. Pulse, good. And I have the fingers of my hands spread really wide to create a nice big base to take some of the pressure off my wrist. Up, up, good. After this, we have one more set of these. Woo, I like it. See if you can make those movements even smaller. Don't let your bottom shoulder hit the floor. Half done. Up, up, there we go. Arms are working. Last 10. Woo, pulse it up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Make your way over onto your other side. Press the top hand into the mat. Wrap the bottom arm around you. 40 seconds in three, two, and one. Either all the way down, all the way up, or micro pulses. And if you haven't tried pulsing, I encourage you try it. The worst thing that happens is you get tired and your shoulder falls down, and it's fine. Good, gaining that strength. Jeff, I'm bummed you weren't here yesterday. It was like, your workout. <laughs> Good. We are half done. Keep going. Press that floor away from you with the top hand. Ooh, see if you can make it even smaller. We have one more round after this, then we're done on the other arm. Ten. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and rest. Make your way onto your other side. Wrap the bottom arm. Top hand into the floor. We're going in three, two, and one. Last step. Press up 
and hover up and down. See if you can make it even smaller. Why is this strength important? Why are we doing this? Because if for some reason we ever come down to the ground, we want to have enough strength to be able to prop ourselves back up. And so we're practicing pushing our body weight up, exerting our triceps. So there is a method behind the mayhem. Keep going, 20 more seconds. Good. Pulse it out. After this, we're gonna come up to stand so we'll get a break. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hop on up to stand. Woo, give those shoulders a roll. All right, so oftentimes when we do our bicep curls, we do them front and center. Today we're going to do a bicep curl, but we're gonna curl out to the sides, in and down. So let's pr pull our arms into a 90 degree angle, start to rotate them out to the sides, keep them there without arching the back out, our 40 seconds. Now you have your choice whether you wanna go full range of motion or whether you wanna go micro range of motion, even more control. So let's go ahead and start. Three, two, and one. Bicep curls up and all the way down, or you can work into a smaller range, up to you. And I want you to try and squeeze the muscle not only as you lift up and in, but also as you bring that arm down. So yesterday we talked about holding like a 50 pound pair of weights. What would that look like here? We would not be flinging the weight around. We'd be consciously working through that range of motion. Good. Last 15 seconds. Squeeze the elbows in towards the midline of the body. Give me 10, Good. seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Move it around. And second set, arms up, arms out, 40 seconds. See if you can go in an inch, out an inch, in an inch, out an inch. Keep it small, resist in, push out. Resist in, push out. Yes, keep squeezing the arms in towards the body the whole time. Make your muscles work for you. What is the goal here? The goal is to get stronger or maybe stay strong. And we have to activate what we've got in order to do that. Last 10, squeeze. Squeeze, push out, push in. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Next exercise, you have the option again to take bigger or smaller range of motion. It is a forearm plank rock. I highly recommend being on the knees for this one. And I don't often say that, so take me seriously here. I walk my hands forward. My hips are over my knees. My hands are in front of my shoulders. I rock down. I press up. Now the challenge here can come in walking your hands further forward and pulsing the elbows up and off the mat. Now I don't want your hips to shift back or shift forward. You're pressing the floor away from your hips are stable, pulsing or going all the way down and all the way up. If you need to do this in plank, you can do this in plank. 40 seconds. Ready, set, here we go. Try and pulse it. Pulse, pulse. Keep pressing your tailbone and your hands in opposite directions the whole time. Good. Pulse, pulse, pulse. We're working the triceps again. We're working the shoulders. And a little bit we're working into the chest. Push, pulse, pulse. If you're not feeling it, you can come up into plank. That's fine. Good, making sure your hips aren't shifting back or forward. Pull, pull, that's it. Feel that burn. A lot of tries today. 15 more seconds. Woo, I'm getting shaky. See if you can drop your elbows even lower to the mat, but don't let them touch. Pull, pull, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Give the shoulders a shrug. Take one arm across the body. Take the other arm across the body. 
Make your way back down, either into tabletop or plank. Walk the hands forward. Now, before we do the exercise, imagine you're pulling your hands and your knees in opposite directions. So create that traction. And that's what I want you to maintain the entire time we do this. Drop the elbows down. We're going in three, two, one. Pull, pull, pull. That's it. Keep pulling knees and hands apart. Good, core is engaged the whole time. If you're not shaking, see if you can walk your hands forward a little bit more. Woo, wait, half done. Good, squeeze your shoulders. Squeeze the muscles of the chest to take some of the weight off that tricep. Last 10, pulse, pulse, yes. Even lower with the elbows. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and rest. Take your right hand between your shoulder blades. Enjoy the stretch. Switch sides. That burn for me. And release. Last up, we are doing a reverse push-up. So you're going to start on your belly. You're going to press all the way up into plank and then come down. So we come all the way up into plank and then let yourself come all the way down. But the focus here is on pushing your body from the floor up into a push-up. If you need to keep your knees down, that's fine. Up and down. Okay? 40 seconds in three, two, and one. Press up into that push-up position. Lower all the way back down. We press up. We press down. So we're going from the floor up into plank. And I just call them reverse push-ups. I want you to make sure your floor, your floor, your floor touches your chest. Your chest touches your floor. Nice. Doing our best not to let our hips or our backs sway. So keeping it nice and flat. Controlling. Using the muscles of the chest to help us get up and down. And if you want more of a challenge, when you drop back down towards the floor, hover, and then let your chest touch. And if that doesn't make any sense, don't worry about it. Just keep doing what you're doing. Last 10. Good. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Awesome. All right, this time, if you want more of a challenge, you're going to keep your body on the floor. You're going to press halfway up, halfway down. Halfway up, halfway down. So it's a little micro movement, tiny range of motion. And if you want to try that with your knees down as well, that's fine. So make your way onto your belly. We're going in three, two, and one. So halfway up and then a quarter of the way down. Yeah. Good. And if you're trying a shorter range of your motion, of motion, don't let your arms straighten at all the whole time. Amazing. Dan. Yes. So hard. Great, Jim. Good, Diane. Nice. Keep those elbows bent, using the muscles of the chest to control what we're doing. After this, we're going to take a sip of water. We're going to get our heart rate up one more time, and then we're going to swap out our band. And last seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Everyone grab a sip of water. Congratulate yourself on a job well done. Those look great. We'll get our heart rate up one more time and then we'll have the question of the day and swap out. All right. First 30 seconds, lateral high knees with straight arms. Go ahead and extend your arms forward. Ready, set, here we go. Get those knees up, side to side. And I want you to activate your arms the whole time. Keep pressing your fingers away from your shoulders. And the arms are working as well. Yes, half done. Yeah, give me seven, six, five, four, three, 
to cross jacks out and in. That's the stuff. Good. Half done. After this, we're gonna do our floor tap and either reach or jump. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Tap the floor, either reach or jump. Down, up, down, up. Woo! Get that heart rate going. And I know that for most of us, this is our least favorite part of the workout, but we're doing it, and we're doing it together, which makes it a little bit better. Last 10. Give me three more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Swap out armbands for leg bands. The question of the day is, drum roll please, what is your biggest fear? All right. Feel free to toss your answer in the chat or unmute yourself. And I want to hear at least like two or three answers before we get rolling. I'll share mine. My biggest fears are one, being stagnant in my career and life, and two, snakes. I'm not a big snake fan. Steve says, jumping from an airplane like John Doolittle did hundreds of times. John said, when my cycle 2.0 breaks. <laughs> We're addicted. It's like a drug, the cop's drug. All right. Let's swap out our bands. See if we can get one more answer. And then we'll get rolling with our leg work. Also, reminder, tomorrow is my favorite day of the week in terms of the workout. I mean, I like all of them. But tomorrow, for me, is some of the most fun. We will be doing a mobility and flexibility centric workout does not necessarily mean easy it just means it's the perfect counterbalance to a lot of the strength building that we do during the week strength mobility and we'll throw some balance in there as well all right bands are on from the outer edges of your tubes hike them up Grab another sip of water if you would like. Jim's biggest fear is dementia. Steve says he can answer for the twins for their biggest fear. It's they do not like cold water. And the water in the Pacific has been very cold this week. That's their biggest fear. John says jumping out of a plane is addictive. I've yet to do it. I'm very excited to go skydiving though and we're allowed to again. All right. So now that we've got our leg bands on, Get your cycle going. We're going to start our leg portion just like we started our upper arm portion. And that is gonna be with our cardio. So we're starting and ending the series by getting the heart rate up, okay? So first 30 seconds, lateral high knees. Three, two, one, here we go. Get those knees up, going side to side, zombie arms. Nice. And after this, we're doing our cross jacks. Give me 10. Get those knees up even higher. Now we're talking. Six, five, four, three, two, and cross jacks. Nice. Half done. Last 10, give me seven, six, five, all in, four, three, two, and one. Floor tap and jump, down and up. Get those arms up and overhead. Maybe give me a whoo. Keep it fast. Half done. Last 10, let me see three more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, and good job. All right, exercise of the day is heels up, butt down for our calf work. Take a deep breath, let your heart rate slow down. All right, so the goal here is to keep my heels elevated off the floor the whole time. I drop my butt down, I drop my butt up. If you want, you can make this a smaller range of motion. My heels stay up the whole time. I drop my butt down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. So you can either play with that narrower margin to build more strength, or you can go all the way. Looks like we got one more comment. Ah, George gave his biggest fear. All right, so for 40 seconds, let's get our heels up. Keep them lifted the whole time. Either drop your butt all the way down, all the way up, or pulse into that range, down and up one inch. Keeping your heels lifted the whole time. So we're really working into our calf. Get those heels up even higher. It's also kind of a balance challenge. Awesome, half done. Heels up, butts down. Last 10. Good, smaller range. Five, four, three, two. Lift all the way up. Pulse your heels at the top. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Nice job. We have one more round of those. Then we're gonna get our heart rate up again, but it is not with our cardio burst. It's with an exercise that we know very well. All right, heels up, 40 seconds. Drop your butt either all the way down, all the way up, or, losing my balance, pulse into a range. Good. Your mission is to not let your heels touch the floor the entire time you do this. And, Chris, I saw your wife was just on for a second there. <laughs> Great. Good job. Last 15 seconds. Ooh, squeeze your knees together. Get those heels even higher. Maybe drop your butt down. Work into that range at the bottom. Give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and rest. All right. Next up, we have burpees, 240 second sets. We start standing, we reach the arms up, we drop down, jump back, push up, jump up, and rise, okay? If you wanna step instead of jumping, that's totally cool by me, as long as you're doing your best to keep moving the whole time. Make your way up to the top of your workspace. Ready, set, here we go, reach up, hands down, jump or step back. Push up, jump or step up, and rise. Down, jump or step, push up, can be on your knees. Hop up and rise, keep rolling. Yes. Hug. And after our two sets of these, we'll get more into some specific range of motion exercises. So keep working through it. Mm hmm Let me see two more good ones. 10 seconds, keep going, keep going. Push through it if you can. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and everybody up to stand. Kick it out. All right, couple deep breaths. Walk yourself up to the top of your mat or workspace. Second set, burpees in three. Two and one. We go up, down, back. Give me that push up. Jump up and rise. Keep going. Good job, Zoom. Good job, Instagram. It's only 40 seconds. We've done a minute of burpees before, so we can definitely get through this. Good. I know the upper body is probably tired, but this is the last exercise we're going to do involving the hands. 
Last 10, let me see two more. Seven, six, five, awesome Diane, four, three, two, and rest. Grab a sip of water if you want it. Next up is a Cossack squat. And we're going to work into one side at a time here. I set my feet nice and wide. We're working the left leg to start. I drop my butt down. I press back up. I drop my butt down. I press back up. If you want more of a challenge, do not let your left leg straighten the whole time. Drop your butt down, pulse it. Up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch. That right leg is nice and straight. All right? Step those feet wide, ready, set, here we go. 40 seconds, either down, all the way up, or keep the bend in the knee the whole time. Pull, pull, pull. Now we're talking. Yes, sinking your butt a little bit lower each time, firing up the glutes, the hips, the quads, like heck, keep your core engaged as well. Pull, pull, get your butt even lower. Now, good, half done. Do not let that left leg straighten. I'd like to see everyone try the harder variation because why not? The only way we can find out if we truly can't do it is by trying. Last 10. See if you can sink your butt even lower. Before we come up to stand, we're gonna drop all the way down one last time. Five, four, three, and two. Get your butt as low as you can. Press right back up through center. Beautiful. Let's work into the right leg. Ready? 40 seconds, here we go. Down, part way up, pulse into it. Good, press your hips back. We don't wanna round out our spine here. Maybe even lifting your chest up a little bit more. Pulse, 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 that's it. Good, as I'm doing this, I'm imagining that I'm pressing the floor away from my body with my right foot. Good. Uh-huh, chest up, butt down. Last 10, nice George. At the bottom of this one, we're gonna drop our butt all the way down, give me five, four, three, two, get low. Press all the way back up through center, take your hands to your hips, circle them around to release. Great job, we've got one more set. Other way. If you want more of a challenge for this one, you can bend as low as possible and then work from that space, just at the very bottom, as low as you can go, okay? So your choice, which range of motion you wanna work in. Bend into the left knee, get your butt down, pulse it out, 40 seconds. Your legs are going to shake and they're going to burn. And that's how we get stronger. Good. Keep your core engaged the whole time. Support your back. Let's see if we can get a little lift of the chest. Nice, Jim. I love it. Last 10. Then we're going to sink all the way down, just like we did on our first one. Five, four, three, two. Sink your butt as low as you can. Press all the way up through center. Other side, bend to the right leg, get your butt low, pulse up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, 40 seconds. Fire it up. Mm -hmm. God. Oh my goodness, gang, these look great. I think this is one of the hardest things we're gonna do today in my opinion. So know that we're getting the work done with for the hard ones. Last 10. Good, see if you can drop even lower into it. We're gonna sink all the way down in four, three, two, drop your butt down. Press all the way back up and come up to rise, take the legs out. All right, so. We have two more exercises to do today. 
This next one, I step my left foot forward, my right foot back, take a little bend into my left knee. I'm either lifting my right leg up and down, or what I'd love to see you try is a little pull up, 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 up. And if you need to hold on to something here, that's fine. The focus here is not so much on the balance. It's on firing up your glutes and your hamstring. So let's set up left foot forward, right foot back. Make sure you have a nice long line between the top of your head and your back heel. None of this, none of this. Good. Now lift that right foot up. If you can do it with no hands, great. Otherwise, down an inch, up an inch. 40 seconds, we're going. Take the bend out of your knee. Up, up. And you can bend into your left knee, but keep that right leg straight back behind you. Pull, pull. Using the muscles of your hamstring and your glute to get that leg even higher. Mm -hmm. This should shake and burn any, like anything else we're doing. Imagine I'm pulling on your right big toes and coming right back behind you. Yank. Good. Mm -hmm. Last 10. Get that leg even higher. Make the move smaller. Seven, six, five, four. Three, two, and rest. Good job. I saw some like shakiness with the balance, and that's fine. We're really working a lot of the muscles of the body here while really focusing on this. Right foot forward, left foot back. Take a little bend to the right knee. Get that left leg off the ground. 40 seconds. Here we go. Pull, pull. See if you can kick it up as high as possible and then just pull from that space. Up, 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 up. Yes, that's it. There we go. Good, maybe even take that smaller range of motion even slower, pressing up, pressing down, pressing up, pressing down. There are so many things that we can do to take one exercise and make it different. So play with that. It doesn't have to be one size fits all. You can see what works best for you. Amazing, last 15 seconds. Good. Now for our last 10, I want you to kick that foot up as high as you possibly can. Squeeze every single muscle in the back of your leg and pulse it. Very tip top. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Good job. We have one more set. Step the left foot forward. Right foot back behind you. Hinge forward. And this standing leg is working too. That's what's nice. Everything is doing some work. Kick that right leg up. Ready? Here we go. Pull, pull, pull. Make that leg even longer. Lift, lift, lift. Smaller. Press up, press down. Press up, press down. So finding that resistance, the same way we did with our bicep curls, finding resistance both directions, I want you to do that with this exercise. Yes. This is magnificent. Way to go, gang. It's a good Thursday. <laughs> All right, lift your leg as high as you can. Burn it out. Go for that cramping sensation. Build that strength. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Nice job. We've got the other side. We're going to take a quick stretch, and then we've got our last exercise of the day. Right foot forward, left foot back. And remember, you don't have to be on a tightrope. You can step your feet wide or give yourself a big base. Your butt's still gonna be working. Come forward, get that left foot up. Let's do it up. Press up, press down. Press up, press down. Yes, we've got core, we've got legs, we've got balance. Good. Mm -hmm. Last 15 seconds. Everyone who is on camera now looks great. I love it. Last 10. Get that leg as high as you can. Press up, down, up, down, even slower. Six, five, four, three, two, and rest. 
Hands across the shoulders. Five good mornings to release the backs of the legs as well as the back. Straight spine, straight legs. Hinge forward and come up. Three more. Hinge. Squeeze your glutes to come up. Why not? Last two. This time we hinge and hold it. So we've been doing a lot of pulsing today. Same pulses even in your stretch. Press down, press up. Press down, press up. Good. Four. Three. Two. And one. Okay. So yesterday we did reverse lunge with a knee hover. Today we're going to do a curtsy lunge knee hover. So I find my left leg. I step it over to the right. I get that back knee down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. Now I'm not in reverse lunge. My left leg is over to the side. Notice this front knee, I wanna keep it squeezed in. So my hips are working, my glutes are working. Good, down an inch, up an inch, that's it, okay? Set yourself up, first 40 seconds in three, two and one. Drop that back knee down an inch, up an inch, down an inch up an inch. It is so hard. And that's exactly why we're doing it because we can. Down an inch, up an inch. Squeeze your hips, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your core, squeeze your brain power to work through it. Nice. Get that back knee even lower. We are only doing one set of these. So burn every muscle in your leg to its max here in a safe way last 10 get that back knee even lower press down press up press down seven six five four three two and one nice i think those might be just as hard as the cossack squat find your right leg step it over to the left drop that back knee down 40 seconds for rolling press up press down press up press down Resisting. Check your front knee. Make sure it's not splaying too far open to the side. We want to control ourselves and not stack, uh, tax our joints. Great. Good. Squeezing everything into the midline of the body. See if you can drop that knee even lower. If you had 100 pounds on your shoulders, what would this look like? Terrible idea, I know. Last 15 seconds. Last lower body exercise of the day. Then we're going to get the heart rate up. We're going to do our core and we'll call it seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Kick the legs out. All right. Lateral high knees. Last opportunity to get our heart rate up of the day. Arms out. 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Let me see you move. That's it, half done. After this, we have our cross jacks. Give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, cross jacks. Good. Bring it in for the home stretch of our work. We've done it this far. And we're gonna keep going. Give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Floor tap and jump. Down and up. Woo, last push. Love it. Half done. Last 10. Give me three more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. All right. We're going to make our way down onto our butts. First 30 seconds, we have a seated crunch. Then we're going to roll back and up without letting the toes lift. And then we're gonna come down 
and crunch nose to sky. Okay, so we've got a minute and a half of work left, then we'll take a couple stretches and we'll say farewell to this awesome Thursday because tomorrow is mobility and flexibility day. First 30 seconds, seated crunch, three, two, one, out and in. If you want more of a challenge, get your hands off the floor. And I want to see you get those knees all the way into your chest. None of this hefty stuff. Good. Woo, there we go, last 10. And then we're gonna do our roll-ups, keeping all 10 toes in contact with the floor the entire time. Five, four, three, two, and one. Press your toes down, roll all the way back, roll all the way up, all the way back, all the way up. Nice little spine stretch as well. Good, I see some toes flying. Don't let it happen. Awesome, last 10. Then we're doing our crunch, nose to sky. In six, five, four, three, two. Take the hands behind your head, nose to sky. Last 30 seconds, up, up. Keep your elbows wide. Targeting our upper abs. The first exercise was lower. The second was everything. This is upper. Lift, lift. See so if you can get up and off both shoulders. Keep them off the ground the whole time. Last 10. And yes, I mean 10 reps. Make them fast. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pull your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug. Rock side to side. Let's start to rock and roll up and down along the spine. Come up to sit. We'll meet in a wide-legged V. Reach both arms up. Take a breath in. Exhale, both hands drop down. Frame the right leg and fold. Let the forehead drop down towards your right thigh. Let the shoulder head drop down. Let the breathing flow. Good, after your next two breaths, nice and slowly, start to roll yourself up to sit. Reach both arms up, take them over to the left, frame the leg and fold. And you really don't have to force anything here, just let the weight of the upper body pull you into the stretch. We've done a lot of really hard strength today. So tomorrow we are going to have a fair amount of flexibility work. And sometimes that can be the hardest stuff because we're not just gonna be hanging out stretching. We're gonna do some active flexibility. And if you don't know what that is, oh boy, you should join us. Good, last three big breaths. Give your head a shake, yes. Start to roll up to sit, reach the arms up, last big stretch, right hand down to the floor, left arm reaches up and over, relax the neck. Keep lifting the top ribs up. And then switch sides over to the left. If it's really hard for you to sit like this, you can take a little bend in your knees or even a big bend in your knees. Give the head a shake, no. And then come back up to sit, reach the arms up, hands come together, round of applause. Woo, we did it. We did Thank you. great. Thank you guys for your hard work.